I've grown out the donuts triploid. Unfortunately, it only made it to day 20 something of flour. And then there was just pollen sacks all over, you know, with the flour. So it, it, uh, hermed out, and, but it didn't uh, have seeds. <laughs> yeah. There was pollen loaded all over the buds. I don't want to consume that. I don't want to pick off the pollen sacks. So but it was sterile. I know different folks for different strokes for different folks. There are people who commented, cause I did make a video on this. People commented like, Oh, we'll just pluck them off. Why didn't you just continue plucking them off? You know, it's a tedious process. Sit there and pluck off pollen sacks all the time. For, you know, especially when you're Hope on day day twenty, day twenty five. Okay, for the rest of the for the next forty to sixty days, however long it takes to flower, you're going to be sitting there plucking off pollen sacks. And, nope. And and when you're plucking off those pollen sacks, you bet those some of them are breaking out and going all over the place. So but like, it's sterile. I'd rather not. Um, that's just my personal preference, but I can see how other people are uh, are going in there and spending the time doing plucking off the pollen sacks, and they don't have as high of a standards, and so they don't mind smoking the pollen, for example. Different strokes for different folks, but for me, I, I just killed it off on day 20. I think it was like day 25 or something like that, uh, very early, just because I didn't want to have to deal with the hassle. And unfortunately, I've heard a lot of people have that same issue with the Donuts Triploid in particular. I know there's a big controversy behind it. We won't get too deep into it on this episode, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look so uh, like a bright future for triplets. At you know? least not for that project. And you know what? It's like I, I got no, I, I have no problem with modifying for mutations or for anything for any reason, it, it, as long as we're not replicating the plant and pushing it in a pharmaceutical fashion. I'm okay, right? We're not creating this canalol or something that's just not our plant. It's just a pharmaceutical. As long as we're not doing that, and we're just introducing other elements or variables into the genetic to have it mode. naturally increase after unnaturally giving it to steroid. I think that's fine i think that's fine it you know as long like it's no different than eating like gmo salmon it's genetically modified salmon or it's it's it was born and raised to be eaten so it's like it's got a little intervention it wouldn't have been like this had we not intervened it's still healthy for you i guess that's an argument yeah i guess that's an argument but I might I, be giving you something 10 years down the road. That's it. I don't know the about. Third eye. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's always my concern. You know, like the chemical induced mani manipulation of the plant scares me, no matter when, how we paint the plant. I'm too the, ignorant on it. When you use the word chemical, yeah, it doesn't sound all that great. But if I, if, if I think of genetically modifying it in regards of just using other genetically available More like elements, CRISPR technology. With CRISPR technology? Like, like a, a Petri dish. Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. You're just taking X chromosome here, or a particular chromosome here, and you're just putting it in here. You're not adding a nuclear biohazard material and hoping that it just. The problem radiation. is with this, though, is you're adding that unnatural chemical into oh, that's the what mix. You, said too. you know what right. I'm saying? Oh, but again, right. some people claim they're doing it naturally by selecting a certain genetic that then has this this reproductive trait when they come together, and it'll create. The triploid. That, Can you uh, argue that like colloidal silvers is some sil similar to that? In a sense, it's an unnatural way to have it reproduce. Right. When you think about it, what that's a gene that manipulation. Chemical? Like colloidal silver. Not silver. gene manipulation, but that's that's manipulation of the genetics, I guess, yeah. That's and, and, and colloidal silver, what is that? Because that's a natural product, isn't it? That's it's not a, a man-made chemical, is it? Yeah. It is? Colloidal silver, for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So you, then, yeah and then, then there's STS, silver, right. theosulfate. Yeah. So, right. But it's like also the, natural or chemical? chemical okay, yeah so then then I, I would argue it's the same thing you're introduced like, touche maybe now that i'm now that we're thinking out loud i'm like Shit, you know it's not supposed to pollinate itself but we force it to do it so again the, the chemical the chemical induction of then becomes a natural reaction from the chemical you know what i'm saying like you have to introduce one you have to introduce a to get B. Some scientist out there is just shaking their head. Pissed Guys, off. It has shaking. nothing <laughs> to do yeah, with right? that. There's somebody right? in the comments that are going to... Let us you... know below. We're just some guys <laughs> talking about it. We're home growers who want to take it to the next level. And, and over the years, the things that we've learned are so eye-opening that these kind of conversations are fascinating to me. Yeah, 100%. The what-ifs, man. It's like 100%. conspiracy theories, you know? Yeah. It's like it's more entertainment and education, but it's the, the journey is the fun part. Yeah. You yeah. know, discovering what it really is. There are there are a ton of mutations that I know nothing about, but there's a couple that I think that people would really understand, and one of them is the polyploids. Polyploids, yeah, yeah, you yeah, kind of touched yeah. on that one. That's like an extra set of chromosomes. Typically turns into like two buds, heads. Well, and people are, are claiming that these are the better yielding and better yielding everything, cannabinoids and flour. And I don't, I have yet to see that. Well, know. we we were saying, you know, does the mutation take away from the other variables? 
Well, if you have an extra set of chromosomes, you'd almost argue that it has an extra set of success. That's Down syndrome in, for humans, <laughs> it correct? Is. So no, yeah, extra set, extra chromosome, less extra chromosome. Oh, it's extra chromosome. So I'm always confused in a sense of how the plant's production changes from that. But I guess it, it's a different. It, you know, we're different. Our chemical makeups are different between plants and humans. But it's it's weird to me that that's what happens for me it gives it more of a strength it gives it more vigorous production i don't know physically yeah i wonder too how it it affects its chemo type or the chemovar yeah, right? the yeah chemical profile because i've had a handful of polyploids right and um it seems like the flavor is different from the regular plant you know yeah what I mean? so slight you variation the same different strains grown in the same environment one of them ends up being a polyploid and the other one's just regular there's a difference in chemical yeah. profile, at least my, my experience there is. 100% same thing. Like I said, it seems like a light version of the other one. Like I'm like, wow, the buds are denser, bigger, girthier trichomes. Yeah. But then I'm like, that, why does this seem like a light version? Like it's almost what it is. It's like I duffed the flower. You know, I rolled up a blunt and I put half of it was just some mids. It's still pretty good. It's kind of taste it, but it's just not quite there. There's a, I think a lot of misconception too with it. And the more as science evolves we'll understand more of it but i'm still a firm believer i'm paranoid of chemical mutation but now i'm saying this about selfing and i've self my plant so yeah and talking about polyploid uh, there's some debate on whether or not those physical characteristics that we see from that is actually fascination i think is that how you pronounce it which is actually the, the, the stems on the buds end up being flat and yeah, that's, that's uh, you know can can lead to it, and so anytime I I posted and said, hey, this is a polyploid, people always try to you know correct me, but when I look up the definition, it's a little bit different than what I'm seeing. So I definitely think some there's some confusion there, and we need some clarity on on what's what. This FDS clip was brought to you by AC Infinity, leaders in garden innovation. Use discount code the stash fifteen at checkout to save some money on your order. From the Stash Podcast.